Hi all, welcome back to System Vlog Sessions. In this session, I am going to discuss about dollar unit and dollar root. First, we will understand what is this dollar unit. Then we will discuss dollar root. Okay, this dollar unit is a predefined system function that returns the current compilation unit. So, compilation unit. What is this compilation unit? Compilation unit is nothing but a collection of one or more system Vlog source files that are compiled together. This compilation unit means a collection of system Vlog files. So when you return the test bench, you will include multiple files, right? By using the tick include compile directive, you will include multiple files. For example, driver file, generator file, monitor files. So you will include those files by using the tick include. So the, the all the files, the collection of files will comes under compilation unit. This compilation unit will tell the tool to compile the sub blocks of the overall design separately. So this compilation unit is a collection of system log files. And the contents of the files included using one or more tick include directives become part of the compilation unit of the file within which they are included. When you include the files, serially you will include it. Right? One by one you will include the files. The contents of the files, contents is nothing but the code which you, write, which you will write inside the files. For example, in driver code you will write some logic and in monitor file you will write some logic. The, the code which is inside the file is nothing but the content of the file. That content of the files included using one or more tick include directives become the part of the compilation unit. The contents also becomes the part of the compilation unit when you uh, include the files. Okay. And this compilation unit scope means a scope that is local to the compilation unit. A scope that is local to the compilation unit. So if you write the code inside the module that becomes the module scope. Outside the module scope, whatever is there, that becomes the compilation unit scope. For example, uh, the, it contains all the declaration that lie outside any other scope. Any other scope means, other scope means, any other scope means, inside the module, you will write code. That becomes the module scope. Inside the program block, you will write code. That becomes the program block scope. So if you're outside the that scope, it's nothing but a compilation unit scope. You, you may have a declaration and the function or task that will be in the compilation unit scope, right? So in order to access those identifiers, declaration, the function or task outside the uh, scope, that will be accessed by using the dollar unit, okay? Dollar unit is used to access the identifiers in the compilation unit scope. Inside the compilation unit scope, whatever is there, in order to access that, we will use the dollar unit, okay? Dollar unit will help us to access the identifiers, declaration, function, or uh, task whatever is there that will be accessed by using the dollar unit we will see how to use this dollar unit in the code the syntax is dollar unit scope resolution operator identifier name you need to use the scope resolution operator in order to access the declarations in the compilation unit scope okay dollar unit scope resolution operator and the name name of the identifier for example uh, the display statement display function task here you need to write that now we will see dollar root. What is this dollar root? When you have a design, design may have multiple modules, right? Multiple modules or um, nested modules. So all the modules have instances. So this dollar root, dollar root is used to point to the root of the top module. That means when you have a multiple instances, multiple module instances, this dollar root points to the top module instance. So dollar root is the root of the instantiation tree. And system Vlog introduced the concept of dollar root as a global scope that allowed any kind of declaration along with the module definitions nested in that global scope. So this dollar root is a global, it has a global scope. You can use anywhere in the code. And you will use this dollar root with the module definition, that definitions nested in that global scope. Okay, you will use this dollar root with the module de definitions in order to access the properties, methods or identifiers. So, and always this dollar root refers to the top module instance, okay? Any uninstantiated module is implicitly instantiated in the dollar root. So, top module may, if, we, if the top module doesn't have any instance, that time it will implicitly create it. Implicitly, the name of the instance will be created. And a top level module is implicitly instantiated once in the dollar root. And its instance name is the same as the module name. The top module name, whatever is the name of the top module, that becomes the instance of the that module. Okay, for you will give the different name for instances, right? So here it will implicitly instantiated. 
the name of the instance top module instance will be implicitly instantiated and the name is same as the top module name for example you have a module top module this top module name is module full adder so that time the instance name is also full adder only the name of the module becomes the instance of that module okay here a top level module is implicitly instantiated once in the dollar root and its instance name is same as the module name and how to use this dollar root in the code for that we have to use dot dollar root dot the module name and the identifier name here you will not use the scope resolution operator you will use dot dollar root dot the top module name module instance name dot the identifier what you want to access okay so overall the difference between dollar unit and dollar root is dollar root dollar unit is used to access the identifiers or declaration which is inside the compilation unit scope okay whatever is there in the compilation unit scope that will be accessed by using the dollar unit with the scope resolution operator and this dollar root is it is used to point to the top module top module instance whatever is there in the top module you can access when you have a multiple instances so when you have a multiple instances or modules in the design there will be a name collision when it has the same name right if your top module name is same as the another module name that time if you want to access something which which has the same name it will be there will be a confliction right there will arise a conflictions that time this dollar root is used to point to the top module top module instance okay that time you will get to know that this dollar root is refers to the top module so that time there will be no confliction or name collision so this is all about dollar unit and dollar root we will see the example for this in the next video thank you